everyone, we have finally moved into our new home. We have unpacked all the boxes and the nesting process has begun. Now I promise I'll be sharing with you a home tour video very soon. So make sure you have subscribed to my channel and that notification bell is switched on so that you know the moment I have published this video. And in the meantime, if you'd like to see a sneaky peek inside my home, make sure you head over to my Instagram account and check out my IG highlights. So many people assume that because I'm a financial planner, I'm going to judge you or tell you off for going out and buying something nice for yourself, whether it be a handbag, a pair of shoes, or even a fantastic holiday. That is far from the case. When it comes to using money, whether it be shopping, whether it be saving, whether it be investing, it's really important that we do it in a mindful way. And when we do shop, we get great value from our purchases and we enjoy them guilt-free because they add value to our lives. Now, this is exactly what I want to talk to you about today. Now, because I'm so incredibly passionate about being mindful with money, Klarna have got me on board to help make sure that you do all your purchases in a mindful way. So for this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my absolute best personal hacks, as well as showing you how to use the Klarna app responsibly when it comes to your own mindful shopping. So let's get started. Number one, be a fussy shopper. When you demand, you expect a high quality standard. You'll end up with a much better quality purchase. It will stand the test of time because you're investing in longevity. Now, if you are not sure if this particular item meets your criteria, don't purchase it. Just park it on hold, perhaps in your Klarna wish list, and come back to it if and when you're ready. And if you're not sure, simply don't purchase it. Number two, be exclusive. When it comes to my own personal shopping, I'm a really loyal shopper. I only really shop at a handful of online stores and brands. Now, the reason behind this is because I know the quality, I know how durable they are, I know the customer service, and I know that those particular items will work with other items that I already own. So this saves me so much time and money in regretful purchases because I very, very rarely have to actually return something. Number three, a wish list. I've always used a wish list. This is something I have been a massive fan of. And in fact, I always like to use my wish list as a vision board. I collect and curate items that I discover along the way so that I can save it, think about it, and come back to it and decide if I really need or want that item. So for example, I have a birthday coming up and I was thinking about buying myself a present and I would absolutely love to go and buy a beautiful vintage Chanel brooch because my last brooch, which is about I think nine or 10 or even more years old recently broke. And I feel like I am ready to go and buy a beautiful vintage Chanel brooch because my initials are also CC. As I discover beautiful vintage Chanel brooches, I simply go and add them to the wish list in the Klarna app so I can think about it and come back to it later. Four, consider the pre-loved market. About 80% of my clothing, shoes, and accessories are actually from the pre-loved market. Yep, they're secondhand. It is a fantastic way for me to be able to afford designer luxury without jeopardizing my financial situation or my financial goals. And in fact, this is how I'm gonna be able to afford that beautiful Chanel brooch for my birthday. Five, save up and budget first before you buy. Whether you are buying something really special for yourself or you're buying something that you legitimately need, like a new pair of sneakers because your existing ones have literally fallen apart, it is really important that you manage your money responsibly. That means you either save up for it first or you factor it into your budget. For example, if you're going to use Klarna, the buy now, pay later, you make sure you factor into your budget every single installment payment so that you know that you can pay off that item in that particular period or even earlier, which is what I always recommend if you can afford to. And of course, always, always, always make sure those installment payments come out of a cash savings account, which includes when you go to buy that item, if you have saved up for it first, pay for it in cash. And of course, if you're going to use Klarna, make sure you always put in your diary when the next repayment is going to come out so you can always be on top and ahead of your budget. Six, financial rewards. 
When it comes to me buying myself something really special for myself, I will always make sure I have prioritized my financial goals and my lifestyle goals first. I have previously written down those goals, they're in detail and they have had a deadline and I've achieved those goals to my satisfaction. Then I will allow myself to go and buy myself something special and I will enjoy that purchase guilt-free. But also there's an energy that comes from that purchase because when I say pick up that handbag or pick up that beautiful brooch to put on my coat, it reminds me of how hard I've worked and how far I've come and it gives me a sense of self-worth and self-confidence. And then the final point, point number seven, is to enjoy the experience. When it comes to shopping mindfully, it's not something you do when you're feeling emotional, tired, or hungry. It's something that you sit back and enjoy. You take your time, you do your research, you look at different ways that that item might look in your home, or different ways you could style that item, whatever it may be, enjoy the experience. Make sure you do it mindfully. And when you do, click Add to Basket and check out. You get excited, you track your item, you see when it's going to arrive, you build up excitement and anticipation before it arrives so that when it does arrive, you welcome it with open arms and you immediately get fantastic return on your investment. So as I say, when it comes to shopping mindfully, only buy what you love, value, use and appreciate. Make sure you have budgeted in and can afford what you're purchasing and you know that you're gonna get a fantastic return on your investment. Ciao for now.